Next is a conversation between His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the Mayor of Evanston, Illinois, recorded July 4, 1975, in Chicago, Illinois. Magazine? Uh, no, I know about the uh, article on the crime, and I have it at home, but I have not uh, read it yet. Mm. But uh, we certainly know uh, that uh, it's a tremendous problem in the United States, perhaps throughout the world, but certainly here. It is not a problem just that uh, there is disease and there is remedy also. And as much as the disease is chronic, the remedy is also costly. So in the Western countries, do not mind. They are not trying to uh, educate first-class men. And that is the difference. This advancement, technical knowledge, uh, to have nice motor cars or big, big buildings, highways, this is very good, but uh, this is not the aim of life. No, my material thing should not be. Mm. They are then missing the aim of life. That is the aim. The aim of life uh, is uh, according, not according to Vedic, but Anyone, uh, the aim of life is how to realize God. That is it. In the animal life or in other lives, less important than the human being, there is no question of God realization. In the human life, there a civilized human life, there is religion. It doesn't matter whether one is Christian or a Hindu or a Muslim or a Buddhist. These are the principal religions of the world. So any civilized man must be inquisitive to know what is the original source of everything. That philosophy is there. It is called Brahma Sutra or Vedanta Sutra, Parasya Bhad, Vedanta philosophy. Veda means knowledge, and Anto means end. In the materialistic way of knowledge, they did not find any end. The, and they accepted that this is progress. But one must come to the end of the knowledge, what is the ultimate knowledge. So. Generally, they are missing. What is the ultimate knowledge? We are searching after knowledge in so many ways, but what is the ultimate knowledge? <coughs> the ultimate knowledge, Vedanta, means uh, end of knowledge. End of knowledge means to understand the original source of everything. Athata Brahma Jibhyasa. The human inquisitiveness should be up to that point. What is the origin of everything? Uh, 
because human life is not uh, a spot that the Western people are lacking that understanding. We are thinking uh, that this duration of life, say for fifty to hundred years, that is all. No. That is the first instruction in the Bhagavad Gita. That this body is not everything. We have to accept another body after death. Tatha Dehantara Prapti, as we are accepting different bodies in our this span of life, from childhood to boyhood, from boyhood to youthhood, from youthhood to old age. So this is the example. And after this well life, after this body is useless, then I accept another one. And again another chapter of life begins. And at my next life, next body, I am creating. Karanam guna sangas. Infection. Just like if I infect some disease, I am creating the disease. If I infect a smallpox disease, then I must develop that disease. How it is such way working that we cannot see. But if somewhere I am infected some disease, somewhere it will be manifest. It will manifest. We cannot check it. So in this material world there are three qualities, goodness, passion, and ignorance. As we associate, we develop a type of body. So these crimes means they do not get good association. Naturally, they are developing. And now these boys, they are also Americans and Europeans. They are getting good association and they are becoming free from all bad habits. Uh, we generally check bad character on the basis of illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication, and gambling. So they were habituated to all because that is a system in the European American side. But now they are free. And that is Professor Judas remark in his letter. Have you got that? Yes. He has written on both uh, Hare Krishna and counter culture about our movement. Uh, he has read all our books. He has he sold all the books. Uh, so he appreciates. Many gentlemen appreciate. Uh, even the priest, priestly class, they also appreciate. So this is a movement which is trying to create a, at least a section to become first class. The first class man does not mean that he is nicely dressed or very rich or very opulent. Generally, of course, first class man means good parentage, good education, good looking, and nicely rich. That is the standard. 
but that may be first class position. But first class man is different. First class man means his self-control and the mind, he is undisturbed, he is truthful, he is very clean inside and outside, he is very simple, tolerant, full of knowledge, practical application of knowledge, and believe in God. This is first class. There is no mention that he is rich, he is beautiful bodily, or is educated. Educated, this is the result of education. Real education means that he is self-controlled. Controlling the mind, controlling the senses, truthful, he will speak truth in any circumstances. Even to his enemy, he will speak the truth. And clean, and very simple, and tolerant. And any knowledge, he has got some I will say, strength over it. Ultimate knowledge, Brahma, he believes in that and he has not. Brahma jana siddhi brahmana. This is first class. So it is not expected that everyone will become first class. But there must be a section in the society, ideal first class. And they will be advised to the rest. This brāhmaṇa, they will not take part in politics. But those who are politicians, administrators, they should take advice from this person. How to rule, how to control. What is the idea? <coughs> so the ruling class, they are called khatriyas. Find out these words. Sama, Dhamma. Sama, Dhamma, Tapa, Saucham, Shanti, Rajam, and Evacha, Gyanam, the Gyanam, Ashtikyam, Brahma, Karma, Sambhavajam. Peacefulness, self control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, wisdom, Knowledge and religiousness, these are the qualities by which the Brahmanas work. Heroism, power, determination, resourcefulness, courage in battle, generosity, and leadership are the qualities of work for the Chakras. There is second class. And the third class? Krishi Gaurakshya Bhani Jam Vaishya Karnapa Sabhava Jam Padi Charat Makam Karnapa Sudra Shyapi Sabhava Jam Farming, cattle raising, and business are the qualities... They are not cattle raising, that is... Cow protection. Cow protection. Mm-hmm. Farming... That is correct. Yes, farming. Go raksha. Go. They take it cattle raising. Yes. I think I do have to say to that. No, it is especially mentioned. Go raksha. You see go raksha bani jam vaisakarma sabhavati. And then? Parichalatmakam karma. Shuddha karma. And to serve under somebody, Hmm? That is Sudra. So at the present moment, people are being educated to serve under somebody. Technology, one is very expert in some particular line of technology. Say, computer machine, we know how to operate. Big qualification. But unless he gets a job, 
and not some big star stamps man. He's useless. He cannot live independently. The first class man will live independently. The second class man also will live independently. And the third class man, they also will live independently. And those who cannot live independently, they are fourth class man. So at the present moment we are simply creating fourth class man. The fourth class man, they are prone to be degraded. If you don't raise them to become first class, uh, they, they must degrade. And that is the position of the present civilization. We are creating all fourth class men and gradually they are degrading. So now you should take up very seriously how you can create some first class men. First class, second class, third class also. If you simply uh, remain as the fourth grade, uh, technology, technology means uh, he has to serve under somebody. Uh, this industry, that is also the same thing. Hundreds and thousands of men are working. They are fourth class men. And Sudra, just like formerly an Indian village, still there. They are self supported. Suppose there is a blacksmith. If you require some black uh, iron instrument, you go there and he will prepare immediately. So an oil crosser, uh, extracting oil. So we were self-supported. Now these things have been taken in large scale, that is called industry. But actually these things are meant for the Shudras, uh, fourth class. So the problem is that if we keep men fourth class or increase only fourth class men, so these things are automatic, the result and action. Therefore, uh, in the Western countries, especially everywhere, all over the world, the attempt should be how to create first class, second class, at least these two classes required. Good politicians, administrators, and good advisors. So this program we are placing before the world. This is Krishna consciousness. So I would suggest that in your country you are resourceful. You can take up this moment very seriously. And it is not expected that seven percent of the population will become first class. But there must be ideal groups of first class, second class, third class, and the rest fourth class. That is it. It takes a great deal of discipline try to achieve these ideals, and that's one one thing that seems to be difficult these days, uh, especially in young people, who have any sense of the need for discipline at all. Mm-hmm. He says, the young people today have no sense of discipline. They don't know what it means to be a Now, how they can be? They are not trained now. Mm-hmm. They are not trained now, from the very beginning. Mm-hmm. That, but being trained up, there is another four divisions. Brahmachari, Grihastha, Manaprastha, Sanyasa. These are the training uh, divisions. So, for the first class, second class, third class, they, all these students 
the trend up as brahmacharya student life brahmachari means celibacy leave under the direction of the teacher and accept all kinds of hardship uh, under the teacher's or spiritual master direction. Children, they can easily take it. Uh, if a child, a small child, I ask him, my dear child, to take my shoes and keep it there, he will immediately agree. He has no sense, no, he is asking me to take the shoes. Immediately. It means very rich man, son. So this this life is advised that a student leave just like a menial servant of the teacher or the spiritual master. And they agree. We have got good instances and he's coming from the first class family. Brahman family, or Chhatriya family, or Vaishya family, or second class. So, I mean, even Shuddha family, he can learn also. So, Brahmacharya. Then, he is, uh, if he can remain without uh, wife, or without opposite sex, then he continues to remain as Brahmacharya. This encourages this process encourages to remain brahmacharya. Yeah, don't take to sex life. It is entailed with so many difficulties. Practice to remain a brahmacharya. You will save so much trouble. But if he is unable, the teacher sees, then he is allowed to marry. Marriage. He is trained up, brahmachari. When he marries, he leaves with wife under rules and regulations, not like cats and dogs. And then, because he had previous training, at a certain age, he gives up family life. That is called bāna-prasa. Panchāsodham banang brajat. The bāna-prasa life is accepted generally after fiftieth year, not earlier. Then the husband and wife travels all over uh, spiritual, sanctified places. Uh, in India there are so many places. So in this way there is no sex in the Banapras. Simply the wife remains as assistant and she also practices austerities. And then the husband, when he is fully mature, he sends wife back to his elderly children to take care of her, and he takes on land. So this is spiritual advancement, and in Sanna's life one is absolutely dedicated for the service of God. In this way, his life becomes perfect. And according to his perfection, he gets next birth in a higher planetary system. Uh, the, the, the upper planets, planetary system, there is uh, Sargolok up to the third class. And then about that, there, there are Janalok, Mahalok, Kapalok, Satyalok, Brahmalok, and, and beyond that there is spiritual world. So in this way life becomes perfect. If you want, you can go to the spiritual world. Spiritual world means no more accepting this material body. And so long we are in this material world, we repeat one body after another. And if we degrade ourselves to become criminals, then we degrade to the 
hellish planets down this universe. So human civilization may, by nature's way, by evolutionary process, he has come to this body of human being. He should now decide the whether he should remain in this chain of birth and death, eh? or he should get out of it and go to this future. This training depends. So throughout the whole world there is no such institution to study all this man. They are going just like what class men. They have decided out of their own accord that there is no life after death. Young men say that there is no old age, but nature will not agree. Your next life is old age, that is natural. He cannot say, no, no, I don't believe. If you believe or not believe, it will come. Similarly, if you believe or not believe, your next life is there. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Find out. Dehinas nindyathādi kaumāraju nindyarā tathādehāntara prāpti dhīras tattva namayya. Yes. And the embodied soul continually, as the embodied soul continually passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. So this education is required. America is resourceful and they are intelligent. And the movement is already there, Hare Krishna movement. People are appreciating the idea. So if we get little cooperation from the authorities, we can push on this movement more uh, solidly. So you are the chief of this city. If you are give, us, give us some facility, then we can be useful to counteract this position. Well, we'd like to cooperate, and we certainly uh, need uh, a different approach, I think, because uh, we're not being successful now in trying to... No, this way will never be successful. Yeah. It will degrade more and more. So our process is very simple. Uh, that is the Chaitanya Mahapuru's contribution. That we chant, uh, what is the letter? Professor Judas? Uh, just leave that. Uh, I feel certain my book will help people both to understand the teachings of Krishna and of his descent as Chaitanya and to realize how Krishna consciousness has transformed lives from drug-addicted hippies to loving servants, servants of Krishna and humanity. This is, this is his study. He has written a book. So we can stop this, provided we are given the facility to work on. Yes. Yes. So, uh, I was thinking, just in front, there is a very nice house, big house. You have knowledge about this house? No, I ah. uh, What is that building? Oh, we're right. We are right across the street from Marywood, yes. Uh -huh. ah. Which uh, we're going to uh, have as a city hall. Ah. You have decided? Yes, uh -huh. about the. Uh, well, just two weeks ago, actually, they uh, canceled it. So, is it not possible to use this house at least for some time for this movement? They, uh, I'm not sure what the time schedule is, but uh, it's my impression that uh, they were going to start remodeling it for city purposes uh, later uh, this year. Uh, it's about a $3 million project. 
both for the purchase of the land from the sisters and the remodeling uh, to make it suitable for various city uh, needs. And then they're going to, uh, the city is now located in nine different locations, that is their facilities. And they're trying to uh, incorporate them all in this one place so that uh, people need city services, they can just go one place and get uh, But this is more important. City service is going on, but criminals are increasing. So why not give us little opportunity? Well, I can uh, certainly discuss this with the city manager and see how it can be worked out. So if we get a good place and have with the cooperation of the authorities, then our simple program is that as Professor Judah has remarked, drug addicted hippies, they have been turned into devotees. We, we shall invite anyone to come and chant this Hare Krishna mantra and take prasadam. And we are, oh, I began this movement in me or Kalon. And these boys gradually came to me. But my process was this, chanting and giving them prasad. He is one of the original students. He also. So this process, very simple process, everyone will be able to accept it. Chant, dance and take prasad. Within that process everything will be. Then we'll understand. They'll read these books. They, they are practical examples. I, I am poor Indian. I did not bribe them, neither am money. <laughs> so, and now they have dedicated their life for this purpose. So I want to do it in a large scale. Yes. But I have no money. So if the authorities give me a place and for feeding them necessary food stuff, then I am sure it will be successful. These two things I want. I don't want any charges for my mantra, no. My mantra is open, Hare Krishna, and there is no charge for it. And I have no necessity. I require two clothing and two chapatis, that's all. Anyone can do. I thought Chicago is the, one of the important cities of the country. And when I first came and saw, they said, this is better. So I thought if this house can be utilized uh, in the beginning, and we invite anyone, especially young men, come here, live with us, at least for one week, and associate with this chanting, dancing, and we give nice prasadam. There is no difficulty. We can attend. And if the authorities give us this facility at least for one year, then we shall talk of permanent. They can see the result. Would you use the facility then uh, as sort of a center from, uh, for all over the United States? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We invite. Actually, they have gotten leisure hour. Let them come and live with us for one week and see the result. They can remain forever, it doesn't matter. But for experimental sense, uh, they can come and live with us and associate with us. It is not difficult. And we invite uh, everyone. We, we have no such discrimination that black, white, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, no, anyone. It is universal. Because we consider every living entity is part and parcel of God. That is the fact. We are tiny gods, part and parcel. Uh, the same quality we have got in minute quantity. Quality is the same, quantity is less. 
So God is good. So we are also good. But we have become bad under circumstances. Just like under infection one becomes diseased. So if we cure that infection, again it becomes good. So it is a curing process. It is not an external, artificial thing imposed upon somebody. No. His goodness is there. Just like generally a man is healthy, but by infecting some disease, he becomes diseased. So this material way of life is a kind of infection. So we have to cure that. And this is our process. And it has become successful. So therefore, this problem of your country, I was this morning also lecturing that you take up this movement very seriously and save your country. And if you save America means you save the whole world because others are following. So you can do it very easily. That is my appeal to the authorities of the American administration. But I do not want anything. For your country, man, for your 